Our next guest, ladies and gentlemen, is a Democratic candidate for U.S. House to represent Kentucky's 6th Congressional District House seat. He describes himself as the only anti-imperialist major party candidate running for Congress this year. He is an MIT graduate, nerd, and... And a former assistant director of the Kentucky Division of Energy. Look at that. He has run for so a lot of coal, a lot of coal in Kentucky. He has run for office five times before, uh, oh, and five, once as a Green and four times as a Democrat. The Kentucky Democratic Party has refused to support his candidacy. Well, that makes him my new favorite Democrat, then. I guess if you're going to have one, let's please welcome Jeff Young. Hey, Jeff, then welcome uh, to the show. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, Jimmy. It's, I, it's, I'm delighted to be on with you. So now you you won the Democratic primary. Yes, I did. <laughs> May 17. Uh, you know, fourth time I ran for the U.S. House. Uh, uh, you know, three times as a Democrat, one time as a Republican. 2020. Oh, okay, so he's. I get like what you're doing. So your strategy is any way in, right? And um, any way in. Now I'm a Democrat again. So, okay, so my policy was to never have any more Democrats who are running for office on the show, but wow. I'm, I'm making the exception for you um, because you are, the Democratic Party is not supporting you. <laughs> they not, hate me. They are they not supporting me. you. You know why? You. They hate getting sued. What, <laughs> what do you mean you sued them? Yeah, uh, uh, 2015, I ran for governor. It's a Democrat. Um, they rigged it. There's a law in Kentucky that says you can't rig your own primary, uh, but they did, so I sued them. I'm not a lawyer. They really hate that. <laughs> ah, so did you win? I didn't win my lawsuit, no. Okay. <laughs> no, it was, it was, <laughs> but it was a hassle for them. They it was like it. thrown out of court. Uh, we have a lot of crooked judges in Kentucky. Would you so now what what's your big so your big thing is that you're against American imperialism, meaning you're against the wars, you're for ending yes. the Ukraine war, you're for ending our occupation in, in Syria, you're for yes. oh, so Somalia, Ethiopia, the whole being All of it. Okay, fantastic. Um, so I was a student of Noam Chomsky in nineteen seventy six. So I, I went to MIT, as you noted. Oh bachelor's bachelor's in economics. I was a nerd, and, uh, <laughs> so an admitted, an admitted nerd. Okay. And uh, yeah, I, I, one of the reasons I wanted to go to MIT uh, was uh, to take a course or two with him uh, in political science, not linguistics. That's way over my head. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, so um, I learned that uh, the course was on post World War II. U.S. foreign policy. And I learned that every U.S. president after 1945 was a war criminal yes. and an aggressor, including uh, Cheney, Bush, uh, Obama, Trump, and Biden. All war criminals, all aggressors, and all mass murderers. And so I became an anti-war activist about 45 years ago and, uh, you know, part time. You mentioned my career in the state energy office in Kentucky. So, yeah, um, they're all war criminals. Uh, Obama's entire foreign policy oh. team, uh, Blinken, you know, all the rest of them, his entire, uh, you know, the secretary of defense, they're all war criminals. Well, Obama didn't even get rid of that. So my whole thing is, and this blows people's minds who consider themselves good people who vote Democrat. When I tell them that Barack Obama was not uh, a, a departure from George Bush, he was a continuation. Yes. He took us from two wars to seven. He didn't get rid of George Bush's defense secretary. He kept him in his own goddamn right. cabinet. You know, who can, right. guess who got more money from Wall Street? Uh, Barack Obama got more money from Wall Street than his Republican opponent. And then he kicked 5.1 yeah. million families out of their homes while he made sure the banks got their bonuses. He gave us a right wing health care plan that was uh, but made their stock prices rise when they passed this. Plan. He didn't give us a public option. He deported twice as many uh, Hispanics as Donald Trump did. He dropped 26,000 bombs in Syria. He dropped more bombs than George Bush. He was not a departure. No, that's right. So they say, there's a saying in Washington, um, um, partisan politics stops at the water's edge. <laughs> wow. <really? laughs> yes, that's right? what they say. So, well, and you're not, that means and, and, that 
Go ahead. Both major parties are committed to empire at all costs. That's right. And they all will engage in aggression. They'll overthrow governments at the drop of a hat, you know, just because they can. There's no disagreement about imperialism. And that's so there, there are, uh, even Bernie Sanders. Even Bernie Sanders goes along yeah. with it. But don't yeah. you think someone's got to rule the whole world and there can be only one? <laughs> <laughs> so, a lot of people think that, and the, most of them are in Washington. Yeah. So go ahead. Did you, I, I interrupted you, Jeff. You were saying something? No? Well, um, uh, when the two parties agree on something, that's when we're really in trouble. Yeah. As George Carlin said, when you, when there's something bipartisan, that means there's an extra big screwing coming your way. <laughs> that's a genius. That's all it that is, means. It is tremendous. And so you're not, they used to not even, um, so they're so committed. So what, what, what Eisenhower warned us about was the undue influence of the military industrial complex. It's real. That wasn't him joking. That was a four-star general who was president yeah. on his way out of office warning about what's going to ruin our country. And that's exactly <laughs> what has happened. We, now we're, we're, we're in bed with Nazis. We're in bed with, uh, uh, terrorists. We're in bed with Al Qaeda. We're in bed with El Nusra. We're in bed with ISIS. We're fun them. Jimmy, you know, when I first heard that. What? What? John Daily Show, John Stewart talked about it. And then <laughs> he's putting a medal on a Nazi at Disney World now. <laughs> that's right. Oh, that was sad. John Stewart, yeah, right. Honoring the uh, the Azov Battalion. Yes. He celebrated. Oops. Celebrated. Uh, he, I think he's, and I, hopefully he got an Emmy for that. Hopefully he's Emmy nominated <laughs> because that's the kind of shit that they'd give you an Emmy for in the establishment. Mitzvah. Yeah. You know, so you, the problem is we're on the brink, as Diane Sarah just said. We're on the brink of a of World War Three. Some would say it's already started. You know, sometime between 2014, when uh, the U.S. overthrew the government of Ukraine uh, and started filling the entire country with weapons uh, and, you know, training the Ukrainian army, training Nazi militias. Sometime between 2014 and today, maybe World War Three started in Europe. The other side of it is uh Taiwan and China where we've got uh, Congress people Nancy Pelosi uh, my Republican opponent Andy Barr visiting Taiwan uh despite you know all of these uh serious warnings from the Chinese government saying look if you do this we are going to be at war with you they said that, and you know, the, the Chinese foreign minister said that in January. I heard that on Scott Ritter. Uh, they actually warned us. Look, that you know, most of these diplomats are kind of subtle. Uh, they don't say we're going to we're going to get involved in a military conflict with the United States. I mean, that doesn't happen very often. Right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And people in America think Joe Biden is a Boy Scout and he's doing right fighting evil instead of what Joe Biden actually is, which is the uh, he, uh, the uh, the physical head of the military industrial complex imperialistic uh, machine. That's Listen, all he is me about it. Like that, that because of the stupidity of Ukraine, China sees that we're not playing around. That was the narrative. Oh. Like, because you know, you're like, what in the hell are you looking at? That you, it's that. So, so they're saying that it's good that we're in Ukraine because yeah. now China's scared of us. Wave your dick around like we do in North uh, Korea with the missiles. Wasn't isn't that what they said Trump was going to do? And now they and they oh that's bad if Trump but does if it. Trump does it. That's a window into his dark soul. That's right. Sam Harris has to. How Sam many times Harris do you have to this. explain it to you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> So Jeff Young, uh, candidate, Kentucky 6th Congressional District, what would you, any f parting words for our audience? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if, if, I, if I actually get elected on November 8th and replace this neocon Republican, um, I'm going to... I'm going to try to get all of Nancy Pelosi's jobs. I, I want her to endorse me for whatever job she has, you know, whatever role she has. Uh, my house minority leader. 
uh, Speaker of the House. You're if you get uh, elected, you're gonna fold like all the fucking rest of them. So yeah, right. quit pulling shit. I, I and never folded. I'm gonna. I, I, and I'll be. I'm, I'm, I'm I'll be I'm going you. after Nancy Pelosi. If you um, start suing so them, I'll I, be I wrote an article for um, Covert Action Magazine, in which I said that all of these Congress people who uh, visited Taiwan in the last 12 months have violated the Logan Act of 1799, which says that individuals may not, you know, do foreign negotiate policy with other countries and, yeah. and uh, in opposition to our foreign policy. My opinion, uh, you know, again, I'm not a lawyer, but I read the act. It's short. And all of them have violated the Logan Act and they are liable to criminal prosecution and three years in prison. <laughs> I have proposed that Nancy Pelosi, Andy Barr, all right, let's and all the others, you know, okay. even the senators okay. who went to Taiwan okay. uh, are, are uh, not yet indicted felons. I, I agree with you, but baby steps. All right, let's let's work. <laughs> <laughs> let's. This is serious. This could you be a beautiful dream. dream. The, you, you know, the, the established. We don't have time for baby steps. Jimmy. So yeah, I but so, yeah, I agree. No, I my personal opinion is it's over. The the empire's ending, and the so, empire's ending. That's good and, news. And so, but as soon as we go, as soon as the world goes off the American dollar as the reserve currency, it's all over for our economy. We immediately turn into Brazil. Yes, We're exactly going to turn into Brazil. Right. We're exactly almost there right. already. We're, kind of all right. right. We're already there already, kind of, right? We got homeless people under every bridge, and they make you think it's only drug addicts. You know, so, forty per, you know, forty percent of the homeless people have jobs. Just so people know that, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. There's a there's a lot of homeless people that aren't drug addicts. All right. right. Um so I don't want the US to launch the nukes on on our way down. I agree with you. I don't That's either. That's why I'm running. I, I Jeff, I and, you know, we have to get around here because we're all gonna be dead soon from a nuclear war. So but <laughs> Uh, but I, it is serious, and we're, I'm, people know that they should vote against the establishment, and you certainly aren't aren't supported by the establishment. And no. uh, as much as we, uh, so, but good luck to you, very much, Jeff. Thank you, Jimmy. The anti-war, <laughs> anti-imperialist, a nerd from MIT who beat the Democratic Party in their own goddamn primary, and now they won't support him. You should support him because he's got the right message. Everybody, go to uh, what's your what's your website. Young for Kentucky, Y O U N G, the number four, K Y dot com. Okay. Great job. Nice to meet you, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Likewise. Okay. Thanks. See, in Denver, Palm Springs, Austin, Texas, and Burbank, California after Thanksgiving. Plus, we're going to be doing a lot of shows in December in Studio City. Go to jimmydorcomedy.com for a link for all the tickets.